demonstration of my game controlled LED control buttons. Uh, the buttons that light up are controlled by, well, whichever game I pick. The start and select buttons are hardwired, they're always lit up. But the control buttons depend on what you play. So, Super Nintendo, oops, I guess I clicked Contra. Let's see which buttons light up for Contra. So, Super Nintendo uses, looks like, six buttons. You saw four slow flashes. That indicates that it used the default buttons configured on my system for Super Nintendo. If I go back out, as you can see, I've gone back to the two buttons that Emulation Station uses. Um, how about Earthworm Jim? I think it's set up for three buttons. Sure enough, three buttons, one player. The right side didn't light up, just the left side. And you can see the two quick flashes. That means that it found an exact match instead of using a default configuration. Same goes for pretty much everything I've got configured in here. Let's see, MAME, Defender. It's a good one because Defender uses a whole bunch of buttons if I remember right. There you go, two quick flashes and five buttons for Defender. Four slow flashes using the default. Back to animation station. Nintendo 64. I don't know if I have any configured for this anyway. Oh, I guess that's using the default, which is the fallback of every button. So if you haven't configured buttons, it goes back to some defaults, turns them all on. Otherwise, flash is in control. So there's a brief tutorial overview of the software control buttons.